So welcome everyone to more Linux live development. We have this cross compilation stuff to finish from yesterday and I actually worked on that and it's like, yeah, all the stuff is, is seen here, usually quite time consuming. Um, because stuff does not always just work and um, especially if you build stuff a little bit full featured. So the, the good thing is, so yesterday we started with this huge stage reorganization or the, the continuation of the huge stage reorganization. And that um, looked promising, did not just work. I continued a little bit in the afternoon and, and night, the usual midnight couch time. And I have here proof of concept that um, built fully, um, and it's a huge improvement. The only thing is it's not yet fully done and needs more work. Or you can see me, right? So why do we do this? Um, Mostly so that the cross compiled compiler includes ISL support for graphite loop optimization. And um, it turns out that also previously we didn't have a full full featured, um, which uh, by the way, I think we, you know what, we start an additional new build. I need a new build anyway before we, because then we have already computers computing for us. Uh, 64 that, clean build that. Um, and then we can continue to talk and, and work. Then we have a second build to test. And the, the other good thing is previously we had some features disabled in the cross compiler. Um, disable. Um, so these ones, and because it didn't build, um, like um, also there should be more somewhere which I, yeah, so this. And so basically, um, so Mudflap, I'm not even sure if that still exists. So I think one was removed, Mudflap, I think this was removed some years ago. Um, what to use instead of the Mudflap, I think. Um, also, yeah, recurring theme, you work on some new stuff and you eventually realize there are some bit rotting. This is what basically bit rot is, like bits, aka ASCII characters, bits and bytes, like here on this channel. And once upon a time, they had some effect, but stuff was removed, code changed, and stuff doesn't fit anymore, APIs, options, and like your options. And uh, it's commonly known as bit rot of, of stuff that is there, but doesn't do what it was once supposed to do. Ta X yeah, downloads mirror GGCC 11 or something. I'm pretty sure this was removed, removed quite a while ago, like eight years maybe, and so not flip. Oh, change log, thank you very much. There's mm, contrib GCC update, so no longer supported since. GCC 49, yeah, that, that is a while. Good that we double checked that. And this is also the stuff like full stack developers 10, a decade or two was like, yeah, you remember all the stuff that once upon a time was. So what we change now is to only disable that for the tool chain and not all cross builds because some of the stuff requires C library support and this doesn't exist anymore. And that should, uh, not should, I tested this yesterday um, and pre-tested this yesterday with, with some hack and that built now all. So it was no longer necessary if we have um, like in a cross compiled stage with C library, at least for Itanium. I slightly wonder if all the other um, the ITM and I wonder if that still exists, we can also sorts this a little bit better while it it uh, what was it lib itm or That at least there is still something. Okay, there is some maintainer. I'm not even sure what that is. 
transaction in the main library. Ah, okay, transactional enabling GNU transaction in memory library. Okay, good. So this is thing. And uh, that's so that uh, unlike this mod flip stuff, which was some memory pointer sanitization stuff, they removed because yeah, nobody maintained that. So is that still a thing? Um, some of this doesn't look the most active. So it is strange. Um, also maybe this outlib does that. It looks strange in that there is not so much. So I'm wondering something for hmm. some of this doesn't really look like Or is it lip sale or T? Hmm. Who knows? Hmm. Whatever. It's even now, whatever. I can leave it for now. Um, so that here is decimal float, what math. And so not only should this fix Itanium IA64 bootstrap, which previously was a little bit broken. Well, it, this is not all right. So this, this file is massively changed. Uh, this is a GC, GCC configuration. It, it's massively changed and does not yet even build fully. Um, it doesn't build fully yet because uh, the way we set this up, um, and this is yeah, probably another hour or so of guru meditation. So how much rework is that? It's like yeah, the whole file it's like yeah, 50 lines. It's already a long, it's already a large conf, and that changed now a lot. Um, I pretest this, so this, the thing is, and um, we need here quite some, some custom YOLOing of, of hacking stuff because what we actually need to do and discussed yesterday is improving this cross bootstrap with rebuilding the cross compiler with more features, which is exactly what we are doing here. Which by the way should this and so for that to work and, and this is also the part that does not yet fully work for that to work we need this custom hackery here to quirk the build system because stage zero is tool chain stage one was cross building and now we make and we sort of need to leave it like this because we need first the tool chain and then we need to cross compile the C library for more GCC features also to be available and, and buildable, like shared GCC and stuff. And um, yeah, this is why this stage thing is inherently um, so a little bit messy here, um, unfortunately, by nature. I, not just because T2 is messy or something, um, just because it's tool chain cross compile and then tool chain. It's a little, yeah, so the usual chicken egg circular dependency issue issues. Um, so we probably, we, um, by the way, I slightly, so basically this, the only reason I do this now is because now that I realized due to a GitHub report that we don't build with the cross compiler with ISL, um, and we spent already like years on YouTube here perfecting T2. I'm feeling like now is the best time to improve this too before we do the, because we, we are already delayed for all the perfection. And then maybe another few days. It's yeah, it's always one, one more thing of some more days delay. This is how you never ship software. But I also want this, I, I also need a new Linux system for myself and I, I want this then in the best state currently possible. Um, another thing which maybe we clean up while at it, we had here, by the way, I slightly wonder, <clears throat> another thing that we might be able to clean up, I wanted to say is some, some lip deer and includes. So I'm not entirely sure what we do here, honestly. So that is root 
refix target bin nip i'm not entirely sure if we need that like that because it is really crazy what we do here so this might be our or this are decade old hex and moreover i think we might we might also want to change the lip deer um should i add to do so yeah um it always looks so simple right just some config options but just some config options and infrastructure then takes hours of testing and, and scripting this should be like this root and then all right we have one complication which is the original lip deer though mm, although at least okay maybe we make this actually cross lip deer yeah so because the next issue is our cross compiler even if if this would work this still needs some tiny little tweaking to work here this is cross toolchain hack up um, and, and by the way i i didn't quite find this gasp i'm actually not really sure if anything is using that but whatever Um, this is basically over actually we i don't think we need to export here because it's already exported how many others like eight is too many seven Um, so lip deer, where do we set conf opt um, stage level one? I mean, maybe we first get this to work, and then because here probably is a tool chain, here we probably want something like lip deer equals this root lip deer and maybe we need that be i know this might work actually there something of that sort so yeah so long story short the whole the whole yeah it is crazy for me it's also crazy that boot, bootstrapping that at least fully sure just having a tiny little bit cross compiler is relatively easy just unpack four or five packages and hack around a little bit already but having this completely full featured is quite a bit more of a, an affair by the way, does uh, GOMP, is GOMP still a thing or is this also... Okay, well, obviously, much more clear that it's a thing. Ah, yeah, would have found failing toxins. So what I wonder is, um, did we build GCC? I think we probably built GCC. I wonder what it installs there. I checked, pre-tested that already yesterday a little bit. So that is 64 here, tool chain, tools, cross. Hello, internet. And so what do we have in lib? Okay, lib we have quite, by the way, do we properly track the files? Uh -huh. Do we even? Okay, we track the files and I oh, hear yeah, actually, okay, it is not. Okay, we have here libcc1, um, so we can't, actually that is 
interesting. Where does it get one? So one version. Hmm. Interesting that some of the stuff is going into lib. So what we probably want to do is improving that. Because especially if we have the issue for the to cross tool chain that we want that in the system especially um, especially uh, other lib atomic stuff um, and lib gcc stuff so yeah this is basically continuing the, the greatest cleanup of t2 toolchain support since since 18 years life on this channel so if we want, so we have here two builds running. We have here x86-64, MD64, and Itanium for testing. So the Itanium one, um, do I have that? Actually, we still have that from yesterday. It's like a 2254. Not making this extra night efforts up. And that didn't build, what was that? Uh, all right, this couldn't compile. And so the crazy thing is, um, it does compile. What does it want to build? Um, also, this ISIS here is wrong. So, yeah, so this boils down. I, I pre tested that in manually building zero GCC with all the stuff and that build. Um, so this boils down to replicating our toolchain setup, which is a little bit what I did here already. So this build error is just the imperfection of manually rebuilding some of this cross-stage setup, um, which I'm still not sure. The problem is that there are quite some variables here in build package and function in. And I wonder what is the best way to tackle this. Because manually replicating this is quite some effort. And um, error prone effort, I should add. Example here, so we have we have still so maybe that fails. I mean, we have yeah. How do we best do that? So the, this this is a problem of building differently against otherwise common setups. I was thinking yesterday already quite quite a bit how to best integrate that, but the long story short, simply it is messy, and well, I don't like messy. So, mm. but sometimes stuff is simply not simple. So it could be. So this is okay. This if not build CC. So what is the difference here? By the way, the way we add this here with quotes is I think this should work that if you bit, so that the difference is of with single ticks, this should not expand here and will expand later in evaluation of make, make up. So that in between, exactly for the point between defining that here and actually later using it, you can change the variable like we did. So host cc is a question. Um, we would need to compare that better. The problem is that zero GCC not fully built. What have I done? Or was it 
shared file, what if I Why is this? What is here? Sounds like something. Mm. So we run this with basically the easiest to diff set. Um, uh, would be because the usual, I mean, either using some word diff, many of which ironically often segmentation folded on me. Mm. We could substitute all spaces to new lines and improve diffing because then you have basically a word diff um, also. So we built this with, so this is tool chain, so CC. Um, okay, we have, we have obviously here only CC um, because we have no other compiler and of course we have so yes yeah, this is error prone mess mess that um, it's like a yeah, super boring dry stuff so we still build build system host system and that target and we have here actually we actually we ironically have here similar cc cp cc Build CC or CC. Actually, this doesn't look too bad. Um, do we wait for the problem? Is also yeah. I need obviously need a thread ripper. By the way, what was the status update with thread rippers? Hmm. But what does what help is this thread ripper if your Vodafone Doxis infrastructure is failing piece of garbage and you can barely access it then if you don't sit next to it in the office. Hmm. So maybe it is um, our cross CC. Maybe that is simply adding other arguments. I saw there yesterday already some not supported. Which one was it here? The last the, yeah, the failing. Yeah, cannot compile suffix stuff that is libgcc and uh, that is ia, I think, libgcc. Ah, so I also need to configure again so much. That mm. comes from three years modernizing stuff live on YouTube. And we are config log of. So yesterday saw already somewhat crazy. Yeah. So why does it say unrecognized command line option dash v? This is already strange. Mm, what exactly is going on here? So we have xgcc wrapper. Mm, I don't. Why does it say unrecognized command line option? I think it is running with V. Um, three, five, what would be the uh, checking compiler version? Okay, so why would that say unrecognized command line option dash capital V? That is really crazy. Indeed says the same here. Is it normal that doesn't support? Oh, wait a second, is it normal that it doesn't support V? Uh, what? Why does it try to run that thing? Maybe the issue is another. Where is our wrapper for that? Maybe that is 
this and fold. Ah, uh, maybe we also have. Uh, I need to configure that. This is too much wasting my time. Um, is it? Do we need? Maybe um, might be two things. First of all, this might be mismatching. Looks like we didn't patch it for that. Um, no docs is capable, thank you. Okay, interesting. We have here that stage CC wrapper. That or does it have interesting? Does GCC have provision for that? Apparently, they have interesting. Oh, wow, wait a second. We also have XG. Uh, who even did that? Was it us sending this upstream, or why is it in there? Who else would need this? No, Red Hat. Uh, interesting. So why does it fail? Uh, the visual long guru meditation of... Okay, we have actually... So this is a um, Itanium build here. Uh, Itanium, uh, AMD64 build. So that probably sh soon might fail sim uh, similarly. Um, let's see here. One mm. I, I, that we use this itanium, itanium is simply um, it's more of the one complex targets, not because we have it or like it so much, just it is a Unlike this VIN, it is a convenient debugging. Facility. Um, I really hate how slow this toxic is. Actually, you know what this is? Um, Actually, this is the, the real, I probably looked at some wrong, this is the thing that fails. Why would bin as syntax error unexpected? What is failing here? This is actually the real error. Why did I end up at some... So it's running XGCC wrapper. Um, XGCC and how can we easily repl replicate that?
Ah, this is the wrong. Is this Itanium? Itanium, okay, so this is the wrong. How did this, what do we have here? No, we're getting uh, somewhere. Um, user bin AS. Um, ah, you know what? Maybe maybe we are really close and this was really s only stupid. Um, did we, may, may, is this Zim link or is it link hackery from us? Maybe this hack happened during debugging and stuff. Because we somehow have here tool chain only minimal adoptions for cross CC arch target. Mm -hmm. Here we have if G here we have some CC and so on. Uh, create various Zim links. Do we even still need that? Um, so basically, this is also continuing the um, biggest um, Dr. Trippett says AS syntax error happened to them when they try to build GC without the target bin utils installed. Okay, this, this is still building. So maybe we are really close and now um, I only messed up the build somehow. So basically this, like maybe we better wipe that. And this is basically also continuing further cleaning up. So basically now that we earn some basic income here live on YouTube and your Patreon and GitHub sponsors and stuff. We can finally like polish stuff we thought is working and is amazing. It turns out it's not 100% amazing and only 99% amazing. So we can also finally do the last one or 2% of further perfecting this. Um, and maybe we can remove a couple of those Zim links. So maybe some of those code is certainly since GCC3 or whatnot maybe even GCC 295 something 1998, but definitely GCC 3 or GCC 4 15 plus years ago. And maybe this was only some of the stuff as per usual also in open embedded or build root and, and the Linux kernel. So some code is simply like I, did I say bit rot previously in this live stream 15 minutes ago? Some of the stuff is simply bit rot of um, stuff that was needed to quirk something because of GCC config bugs or Rock Linux, our initial first attempts of building that. And then it's just like 15 years later, you realize um, wanting to further enable features and, um, and so on. And then only then you realize, wait a second, some of the stuff that you were building like that for 15 years is, is not perfect. It's, it's just either not used, um, working accidentally. So what we actually should do is, the problem is that this change has already become too large. So um, so these are all the changes so far. We changed 125 files. Uh, mostly, of course, the stage, stages, this is not really that much. Um, the biggest, or the, the only other non-stage thing, also I just see some ICC menu, yeah, whatever. Um, so by the way, should we, while we wait for those builds, what we quickly, also this is still building, also this is a good sign that the completely from scratch fresh build AIM D64 build is building so long. Ah, building so long until now a little top level deer. Um, I mean, it looks like it fully built until it installed something. And this is also what I probably mentioned earlier, it's like I'm not sure how the T2 build environment will react if we build stuff outside of this 
spec here and we certainly can yodel with in terms of just adding another allowed path there for this single package where we know where we hopefully know what we are doing so um, yeah so that looks even correct just said t2 says so maybe um i was and this is also why i have new builds right why i why do i often build another build here and, and epic and thread ripping you can, can never have too much horizon um is some of the stuff just occurs are random build artifacts of working on something and then previously it was installing clobbering something half installing something and then pro tip don't waste hours or days debugging on a random build artifact sometimes it's better to if you are done with some milestones and, and some stuff is working sometimes simply better restart a new build which is also why we do this reproducible stuff here in t2 and so this looks looks actually correct or at least at least i would think let's see although either it is correct or it is using one um, let's see this is builds top level source serve t2 clean um, it might actually be oops. Um, yeah so that is including one prefix to many so many to this is serve um, so t2 was actually correct to complain about that so some sanity checking also pro tip some sanity, sanity checking um not the worst thing so this is in cross um so also dear and include and so that is in where would that be maybe cross do we have more we probably it looks okay um probably some of the consequence of double specifying here some passes uh, let's check running So we are running this install with all the cpp okay fine doc dear whatever something so okay we have this dear ah, okay so uh, this is probably the result of this this dear here mm. and having previously specified some other prefix We run configure, let's see how do we run this prefix. Yeah, so that is actually probably an issue. Um, yeah, so this is how this occurs. Um, this, this is a consequence of mixing the stages of toolchain versus cross. This is just when you try to YOLO something half into there. Um, so the question is actually... Theoretically, we want um, the, we need to think how we really want to have that installed. This is what I tried here with stage level zero set conf opt of like basically faking um, faking the stage level here, and this is apparently not yet hundred percently working as as seen here. Um, Basically, could also probably stop this itanium build here. Makes no sense to have this continue while we still guru meditate about this. So set 
confopt ähm, it's often good, a good idea to check what the config is actually doing. So at stage tool chain, so we have overwritten this to stage level zero. So that should, all right, this, this is why, actually, do we really want it like that? Maybe we don't even really want it like that. So yeah, I, I did this under the assumption that we want to update the toolchain installation. The question is, do we need I mean, we could try to get away with quite some complexity. You know what, maybe we don't need to. We, we could first try to actually YOLO that and keeping it simple. And that would mean actually not to fake this and I mean, it's a little bit not perfect in the sense of, um, oh, wait a second. Uh, even that is not so simple. Oh man, complexity. Oh, and this, is, this is actually quite a mess. Um, we could first try to get it to work and later try to polish it further. Because to keep it simple, we could try, so we, we built a cross comp Canadian, no, we, we built a cross compiler and instead of updating it in our system, we install it into the sandbox. It's, and later it is replaced with an actual Canadian cross compiler. It's a little bit dirty, but um, I think it could work as a quick test and later we could still like to do, clean it even more with, Recurring theme, if I make it any better, you really soon can't afford it. I mean, even I, I, I soon can't afford working on my Linux distribution anymore. It's obviously work too much on that. But that is when you have goals. And yeah, and this is also the recurring theme, right? Nobody wants, even my embedded customers don't want to pay for this infrastructure works. So like, yeah, it needs to work. So like, you know, thank you very much. Needs to work means I need to sit here a week unpaid, only sponsored by your views and Petrol, Match, and GitHub sponsors. So let's substitute this uh, variable there and see if that builds. Um, so that would be configured. By the way, do we have shared lib of um, we need GCC shared or GCC? GCCS. Yep, exactly. Thanks for the inspiration. Um, yeah, let's do that in a second. I have the feeling we still need to YOLO pre building libgcc underscore s shared for the STL to what was it? Shared libgcc libgcc shared. Mm, whatever, somewhere. But what we do build so still do we look? Um, oh wait, what a second. Why do we have? Oh, this is PCH. This is actually sort of. Um, where is this shared? And why? Ah, whatever. Um, I actually wanted to check what is exact. Um. um where was the... Okay, this other oh, is in evil. Let's see, source. Okay, this is it already. Wait a second. Um, it looks to me like. Okay, this is already expanded. Um, let 
we can also so oh, by the way maybe pre-test that although it is to be fair it's not only the itanium build i actually wanted that for an in general more full featured and all quad math and stuff supporting cross compiler mm. let's see if simply um, substituting all the root um, like that yeah actually um this is funny wait a second this prefix looks okay but I'm okay like there's a spin deer actually I wonder if we can improve this slightly by um, having the, the, the root not expanded earlier in, in the setup but so this is basically to do better install in toolchain root or re actually reinstall in toolchain root um, and for now let's try if oops what did I copy there that is not what I wanted to copy That probably could work like that. Let's see what happens. Only problem is um, does T2 fail again because we had this? Is it already in the file list? Oh no, it is not in the file list. Is it the right build? Let's remove that here just in case and see what happens. And here we can already continue the Antanium build. Wonder if Discord user host had building GCC wrong would approve that. Probably not. Um, they said it's as easy as running for configures, and it is not because you need to, if you want this more full featured, you need to actually rebuild your Canadian cross compiler, because, uh, your cross compiler, because as I said, if you just, well, already building the cross compiler is messy enough, although we might be able to simplify this a little bit with configuring this enable new lib or something, which I didn't know um, in back in the day, but now I figure, or maybe it's also new because we patch quite some configure checks. Um, although maybe we still would need the dash uh, the dash dash enable new lib option is supposed to like yeah yolo we don't have a c library um also as usual with spark and stuff i guess some of this configured checks didn't really look like um there is a new lib provisioning but um those this this this, this discord user claimed all the scripting as well first of all he claimed automation causes errors, which are of course bullshit, right? Manual human errors cause errors. Automation is king. Um, automating the stuff results in each time you run this, the same build night, not each time a human types something, you get different typos, thank you very much, and forget something and not, not God forbid, all the 25 plus architectures, which each, each need different YOLOing. Um, and, and additional S seen here, um, you first, you, this is the chicken egg dependency problem. What is first, the chicken or the egg? In our case, the compiler or the C library. And if you bootstrap this clean, and other distributions often don't notice that because they build in their old, old packages, like a previous Debian, previous Red Hat installation and stuff, and they usually build natively and stuff. So they hide all those complexities with imperfectly reusing previously existing stuff. And if you build from scratch out of nothing like T2 does, you first need a cross compiler because without a cross compiler you can't compile the system C library. The cross compiler can't 
cross compile initially all its features because they depend on the C library, like shared library stuff and other fancy features that you need printf for and other stuff and other implementation details that are more complex than printf. So first the cross compiler, which with all of this like basic cross compiler that doesn't have all features, then the C library and only then can you build other stuff like the C++ library, um, the C++ SDL plus libatomic and, and libunwind and libgcc shared, even the GCC support library. Um, and you, you can't build initially at step zero, at step, which ironically step zero is even, it's even more complex because if always or often when you summarize stuff, even when you summarize complex stuff, you forget or leave out complexity because actually step zero is extracting your system C libraries headers because without those you can't even build a cross compiler. So step zero is extracting, which usually with glibc and stuff also involves quirking and patching because <coughs> um, the, the glibc already wants to test and build stuff for MIPS and Spark and Itanium and stuff. So you need to patch and quirk your C library to just extract mostly complete headers, then build the cross compiler, then really build the C library, and then build a more complex cross compiler, which is now what we do in T2. Previously, we have done away with that, and it's like, yeah, you know, whatever, that, that initially built cross compilers complete enough until Itanium came, or we want more features, and only then you continue all the other stuff. And pro tip, this is why you don't want to manually do that, because instead of doing that automatically in some minutes, like imagine manually typing this each time, it's like, nah, no, you. And manually typing this each time with stuff forgotten, stuff mistyped, and, and so on. So, yeah. Which, by the way, fun fact, we probably want to check that we don't waste this time, uh, which often we do real life on this channel. We actually should have um, pro tip always, instead of waiting 10 minutes or so, or seven or whatever, um, you probably, want to check already that this is running with uh, the right um, because it didn't. Uh, so much to wasting our time. I think we, we still run this wrong. I can already cancel that. We should have checked this initially. Oh, also, yeah, hello, Doxus cable. Can we have some bits and data? It's like, yeah. If you wonder how mainframe access over a 9600 board modem is like, yeah, probably like that. Also, yeah, we, of course, we had the typo there. And nobody spotted that. Jikes. Let's try that again. Let's hope we didn't install. Oh, dog, is this the wrong? I know here. Let's hope we didn't install something yet. Not that we cluttered that already off serve. No, we didn't. Um, and, and this time, let's be more pro and actually check that we run the right thing. That uh, looks better, I hope. So this prefix stuff is no longer there. So yeah, I would give that, although libdeer is a little bit, yeah, libdeer is not. Uh, so the question then, all right, we, uh, maybe we want to save. So the problem is libdeer should be lib64. Set conf opt. Um, so We could either so what why did why did we do that actually initially all right we was here more all right we mostly okay to be honest now that we mm, to be honest I think it is in the meantime easier this conf opt if we build it like that. Um, and we anyway need to YOLO around on that. Um, 
prefix local exit prefix um why do we name this so stupidly even i have no idea i think in the meantime if we install it like that for today it might be easier just to add host arch build arch target build arch build host um i think it might be easier just to add that then resetting that otherwise we would need to save the lib dear and so um the only thing let's uh let's comment this out to in case we need this after all um let's try that off We need target and we need host and maybe we better. I think it should work with duplicates, but it, it should use the last. I mean, maybe we try that. Let's try that. Um, Either for prettification or uh, X. Um, actually, surprisingly, it starts to build, but maybe let's try not that we need to double check this again let's remove this just because we have them both in now um, target and host or something It's if probably the configure ignores duplicates and just uses the last, but just a little bit on the keeping the lock um, clean. Otherwise, I see already messages of people complaining um, that this is doing some random stuff. Where do we have? I don't even see the build. We have their build. Mm, build x86 target x. Also, for this case. Host T2 target no cross build. Uh, what do we need? We need the same as target X80. Oh, wait, we have this even here twice for some reason. Yeah. Okay, let's oops. Oh, did I cancel that? Oh, apparently I cancel that. Control C and that should be slower with Control C. So let's think. We we target the T2 Linux stuff and we build on wait, we have targeted twice. Okay, some of this didn't work unless we have target host target x i mean the only problem is um uh, maybe there are more problems um, I 
Switch. Okay, wir öffnen. Arch build, Arch build, host, Arch. Oh, did I copy something wrong? Tool chain did I, um, oh, wait a second, did I copy that wrong? Target is the same, all right, I think I copied something wrong. Um, build, build is the same. Um, Yeah, build is the same. What did I do there? We we basically need host, arch, build, and target. Um, okay, we need to remove host and the target. I think I did some nonsense. Um, so target. Also, maybe we did we add this here anyway somewhere. Okay, we have this actually always specified, so that is superfluous, maybe even because we always add this here historically, didn't have to explicitly. Mm, okay, so far so good then. Um, and that is arch build, that is. Does that make sense? Yes. Yep. Dash asked, maybe we can snip or make a more structured video explaining cross compiling process or in general video going over to project structure. Yeah, I mean, I, I basically discussed um, general cross compilation some minutes ago um, with step zero C library headers, um, then the cross compilers in the C library. Um, you maybe want to rewind. Um, in general, um, not to repeat this boringly for all people tuning in, and yeah, maybe I should make a dedicated video, but basically cross compiling is not that Special. I think someone some months or two ago commented on YouTube cross compilation for them is suspicious and stuff, and it shouldn't be the case. Cross compiling um, should be actually normal, and um, some systems like for DOS or the early the earlier stuff, um, DOS and Atari Amiga often was a lot of cross compiling, like always. Um, and especially on, on early system bring up, you usually always cross compiled from one other previous architectures to the new. And some systems, for example, um, cross compiling is not special in any way. It's, it's simply meaning your compiler is um, creating binaries for another architecture and it's running on it. There's nothing really special on that because usually you don't need to run those binaries immediately. And on some platforms like iOS and Android, you also usually always fully cross compile. So far, all the iOS and Android binaries were usually developed on a Mac or PC with an x86 or no ARM, but doesn't really matter much. So, all those mobile apps are like 99 plus percent, except those few who um, already built on a Windows ARM um, laptop or now built. But even now, Fun fact, the, some calling conventions on iOS versus X, um, or Mac OS are even different. So even, even now with targeting Mac M1 on an iPad versus Mac M1, iOS, iPad M1, iOS, iPad M1 or um, iPhone A8, 12 and 14 and stuff is not fully binary compatible, at least with APIs and ABIs to macOS, and even that is still cross-compiling and, and until recently anyway fully was. So um, it's not really that special, it's just um, that a lot of this, especially this open source stuff with configure and so on, actually the more special thing is configure and surrounding build systems because people, um, people often just YOLO everything together and like 
expect that they can like test features by executing binaries and that makes actually the open source stuff more error prone because most developers um, don't regularly do it. Yeah, to, um, I just wanted to fully aware that this is buried in the video. I um, can also make a short dedicated video. Um, maybe like five or ten minutes what is cross compiling on the more main channel or so. So let's see, we have here user bin prefix and stuff and build this route there and um, with no, with arch no core, is it even the same? Maybe whatever. So we have here build. We build on some special no cross Linux flavor. So there's no cross, by the way, we use to otherwise te um, otherwise build systems of GCC and configure might think it is the same. So we're actually cleanly bootstrapping and we want those packages to be in cross compile mode. This is why we need to use this artificial no cross not t2. Um, flavor here in case you're wondering what that is. That is basically our 15 year old hack, genius hack, one of those, yeah, not, yeah, but basically mm, telling GCC, hey, even though this is x86 on x86, we freaking want cross compile mode. This is why this is building on x86, no cross, not t2, another flavor that doesn't quite artificially exist stuff. So host, um, same no cross Linux and where is, so yeah, build and host to target Mm, where's our target somewhere of target yeah there x86 proper really proper t2 not no cross linux glue actually looks relatively okay um lipatomic support building there i wonder uh, lip std cxx was, uh, where is this lip? Was it shared lip? Shared run pass. Uh, static lip because where is Zim? Where? Use elf. I think this. Do we have this workaround still in place or does it now work naturally? Either here, mm, where was it? Uh, maybe install. Hmm. Now we have this. We have the standard C plus plus hack commented out and. I think where was it previously? Ah, here we have. Okay, we have both quirks commented out. So that would be quite an achievement to make this even cleaner and full, full featured. And again, it's not only in Antanium. Um, it is also full featured. Um, quad. Quad float. Uh, and, and other stuff, but yeah, it, it freaking builds a while though. Cheers. Yeah, I hope I don't celebrate too early. Um, would be a pity if this still fails after all. Do we have, yeah, lib64. Um, we could, do we? Oh, we don't. Ah, oh, bloody CMake. Oh, wait. Open Itanium? Hello? Itanium? Uh, hello? Did, in the meantime, Itanium build? Hey, Dr. Schubert, Itanium build. Automagically, while we were looking away, maybe. Also, maybe. Were we so lucky that this had, in the meantime, Was this with the latest? Okay, this was with the right prefix and um, it. I think it looks like that. Uh, it looks like that 
fully potentially built. Um, let's see what happens. Touch build. This bloody CMake is a recurring theme. I still need to. Yeah, you probably want to share like and subscribe for me, wasting my time with bloody CMakes because there are too many freaking stupid build systems. And uh, yes, yeah, this is also why I usually build two. Um, you, you often see this, me building more than one build, because um, if you also, so two things, first of all, a little bit time offset, so that while you work on something, there is a charm for other build um, already having some fixes, plus you double check that um, stuff also builds in more exotic and more non-standard configurations. Actually, the last time, actually, this will be interesting now. The last time Rust failed. So this is actually quite a sophisticated test whether Rust will um, work because yesterday it failed with libgcc. So fingers crossed also either. Okay, so this is not yet fully amazing um, because it doesn't have, I, I wonder if Rust will, it still has not the um, STL in the right place. It looks to be in the right place, so I think this looks quite okay, unless some stupid compatibility link is missing, which may or may not be the case. Also, this failed, so yeah, more, 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 so much effort and stuff still failed. So is it libgcc or are libgcc as um, just like yesterday? So, so much hours of work and stuff still is not in the right place. We have that though. Um, um, okay, we, we have it. Um, do we miss somewhere? Okay, so the way to tackle that is debugging. Only getting a little bit hungry, to be honest, because it's already 13.30. And I didn't breakfast that much because life and stuff and... Oh, you knew and so on. Um, Yeah, so it looks good. I think it's either, should we, yeah, maybe we take one quick look at here and um, see. So I usually use S trace um, of, I, uh, what, what is it, x86 something. Mm, no, oh, I must go, of course. Yeah, fair enough, that is reproducible. That is IO stream. So it's looking at, okay, it's looking at this cross directory. And um, how did we previously do that? Mm. So yeah. Um, Maybe we previously had some zoom link there, potentially. Um, I also would go as far as investing another hour because it's nothing like perfecting your open source projects uh, more than commercial products. I would go as far as spending an extra hour of further investigating whether we can differently build or configure GCC to find it. It's this, it's a sys root. Uh, where was it or was it? Mm, darn, I should have. So that once you also want the user include. Mm, oh, wait a second. Or oh, maybe it's try first try somewhere else. It might be full bigger. 
year it tries libgcc maybe we linked it previously or something Uh, maybe it's best to investigate because it previously was working. Um, zoom link here with zoom link some stuff. Did I? Okay, that is not immediately. Maybe we scroll over. So here's our new half tool chain cross fix. Um, yeah, I should check if we can somehow configure GCC to simply look for that in the sys root. Actually, wait a second, we could double check whether. we should build if we don't do it already set with this it has this root though maybe we should additionally I wonder if that could work if we, yeah, we can have to make this root specifiers. What is here? Something, something. How did this previously work? Don't immediately, so we, it's not in the diff. It could be the change conditionals change that somehow. Hello, Toxus Cable. So we could try adding that's a problem is it's best tested with a full rebuild. So that would be to a chain where's our build. So we could try adding balls because uh, We could also read the C plus as uh, the GCC sources to validate how they use it. Mm, Canadian cross also needs to know as a build route to find headers, fix includes and stuff. Mm. slightly also wonder if we still need that um, what else do we have here maybe it is this so oh, what do we link we link no this is only include oh wait a second we are missing include but this is testing whether so if root prefix include exists and it, it could be that something like this previously took care of that it looks also that we can probably delete quite some quirks potentially So that we are not sure if rebuilding that is sometimes other additional stuff can happen. But yeah, I will continue this later. It's I think it's ninety over ninety percent there. 
This could be yodeled with another Zimlink or an updated Zimlink that is there already and doesn't match anymore. But I will probably, yeah, I'm, either way I spend another hour or two on this, um, not live necessarily. I hope you learned something from all this stuff, especially documenting that people always think there's some Linux distribution free to download and stuff and, and everything just works and totally, it's like, yeah, um, recurring theme of how much effort it is just to configure major open source components in a way that they properly work together, um, especially, obviously, in the form of full operating systems, like this Linux distribution, and, and how many details need to be correct, especially for cleanly bootstrapping. If you just natively build stuff, it's much easier of configure, make, make, install, or the more modern build system variants of that. Um, Cross-compiling, even more stuff needs to be in the right place for everything to just compile um, and fit together. Um, yeah, I hope you learned something. I, I have some other stuff to do, um, lunch uh, and, and earning some money. Would be amazing if you share, like and subscribe, like this video, hope you learned something, all the good stuff of Patreon membership and stuff. and. Then we hopefully soon, aka okay, famous lost words, always famous, famous lost words, let's quickly improve our cross compiling even more for more features in Itanium. But yeah, that plus tiny little bit of polishing, maybe the, the locales of glibc or so, and then we really call it a release. And until then, I hope to see you next time.